What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going over everything we know so far about the upcoming 2022 Solstice of Heroes. We'll discuss when it releases, how long it will be here for, and what new sweet rewards you'll be able to earn along the way. Before we get started, if you enjoyed today's video and find it helpful, then please be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. This year's Solstice of Heroes is slated to begin on July 19th, and will run until the weekly reset on August 16th. Guardians will have nearly one full month to participate in the Solstice activities and earn all the new rewards. We don't have a complete breakdown yet on all of the new rewards, but we do have some leaked images of some of the new ghosts, sparrows, ships, and ornaments. And it does look like we might be getting the better devils back through some form of rework, as it is expected to be the main weapon reward of this event. We will be getting new Solstice armor sets for each class. Bungie has confirmed that these armor sets will be earned by completing event challenges during Solstice of Heroes, so you're not going to have to purchase them through Eververse. Hunters will get the Phosphorescent Prism set, Warlocks will receive the Centillion Prism set, and Titans the Candescent Prism set. There will be additional ornaments and armor sets available through Eververse, including previous Solstice of Heroes items that you may have missed in events past. This year's Solstice will be getting a new seal and title, but at this time we don't know any details on their names or what requirements will need to be met to unlock them. But we do know that this year will bring on a new activity called Bonfire Bash, which is expected to take place on the EAZ, which will be getting some of its own new modifications for this year's event. As we saw with Guardian Games, there will likely be a variety of buffs and daily challenges that will be active throughout the event. Eva Levante will be your point of contact for Solstice of Heroes, so be sure to stop by her first when Solstice of Heroes goes live to pick up the event quest and bounties. For now, that's all the details we have on Solstice of Heroes 2022, but as we get more information, I'll keep you all updated. But for now, I'd love to hear what your all's thoughts on Solstice of Heroes are, what you think about the new cosmetics, the new gun, and the new armor sets. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If so, be sure to hit the like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you some happy hunting. Thank <music> you.